Chapter 12 Human Settlements Shelter, like food and clothing, is a basic requirement of human beings. Since the beginning of human history, man has shown the tendency to live in groups. Human settlements develop in locations of favorable geographical conditions such as availability of water in plenty, a conducive climate, fertile soils, etc. Rural Settlement The settlements where the occupations of a majority of people relate to the local natural resources are called rural settlements. For example, number 1. Settlements of fishermen along a sea coast. Number 2. Settlements of tribal people in the forest areas. And number 3. Settlements of farmers along the banks of rivers. Development of Urban Settlements In rural settlements, allied occupations grow along with the main occupation over a period of time. This leads to the generation of employment and, hence, people from the surrounding regions migrate there. As a result, the population of that rural settlement increases. In order to serve the increasing population, services like transport, hospitals, administrative offices, banks, markets, hotels, shops, communication, etc. are provided. Therefore, importance of secondary and tertiary occupations increases and, comparatively, the proportion of the original primary occupations decreases. Thus, the rural settlement gets transformed into an urban one. Such a transformation may also take place due to the religious or historical importance of a settlement, or also due to the increase in activities like trade, education, tourism, etc. in that settlement. Causes of Urbanization Development of secondary and tertiary occupations supporting the primary occupations Increase in employment opportunities Migration of people from the surrounding areas and increase in the population Effects of urbanization Rapid increase in population Development of service sector for providing services to the increasing population, for example, centers of entertainment, educational institutes, etc. Modern means of transport and communication become available and the lifestyle becomes dynamic. Major features of rural and urban settlements Rural settlements Population and its density is low. Urban settlements, population and its density is high. Rural settlements, most of the people are engaged in primary occupations. Urban settlements, most of the people are engaged in secondary or tertiary occupations. Rural settlements, facilities of transport and communication are few. Urban settlements, a network of modern facilities of transport and communication is available on a large scale. Rural settlements Types of available services are limited. Urban settlements Various types of services are available. Rural settlements There are weekly markets and a few permanent shops. Urban settlements There are permanent and varied types of markets. Rural settlements, open spaces are available around the houses. Urban settlements, due to the scarcity of space, houses are close together and multi-storied. Open spaces around the houses are very limited. Rural settlements, house plants are traditional. Urban settlements, house plants are modern. Problems of urbanization Increasing stress on public facilities like health, power that is electricity, water supply and also the law and order machinery. Increase in number of vehicles 
leading to traffic problems, air and noise pollution. Housing problems due to scarcity of residential dwellings and the consequent rise in the prices of land. A large section of the migrants coming to the urban areas belongs to low or very low income groups. This leads to the development of slums in large urban centers. Inadequacy of jobs for the increasing population leads to the problem of unemployment. As a result, the crime rate increases. The effects and problems of urbanization listed above are particularly seen in the different megacities in India.